Hi. Although patterns and geometries are all around us, have you wondered why nature loves hexagons so much? From rocks in Ireland, to insect eyes, to the more common honeycombs. Hexagons are all around us. Did you know, for a regular polygon, the more the sides the polygon has, the closer it is to becoming a circle. Did you also know, if you want to have maximum volume enclosed within the least surface area, a sphere is the best shape to use. Or, if you want to have maximum surface area with the least total perimeter, a circle, which is a two-dimensional representation of the sphere, is the best shape to use. But nature loves to pack shapes together. The real question is, are spheres or circles still the best shapes to pack together? Let's look at this plane tiled with circles. Is it efficiently tiled? No, because it has some wasted area. In fact, the only shapes you can pack together without having wasted area are triangles, squares, or hexagons. But why does nature prefer hexagons to squares and triangles? Now, let's examine triangle ABC. Its perimeter can be represented by the lines 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, but its area can be represented by four equilateral triangles. Now, let's compare it to this hexagon. Its perimeter can be represented by the lines 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, but its area is represented by six equilateral triangles, same perimeter as the triangle, but a larger area, hence a better shape. But why are hexagons better than squares? It's because a hexagon is rounder than a square, if you remember. The explanation I just gave you is what the honeycomb conjecture states. A regular hexagonal grid or honeycomb is the best way to divide surface area into regions of equal area with the least total perimeter. So, if you want to build a boarding house with community rooms, or you want to build jail cells, hexagon is the best shape to use. Hope I didn't waste your time. <laughs>